and welcome back to the channel on this video as I just showed you there we saw a speed limit sign and here's a look at the Lyric Graffiti so I'm going to hop on here and what I want to talk about is that speed limit sign so that speed limit sign there as you can see says 25 that's miles per hour <clears throat> so what I want to talk about in this video is e-bikes and class levels and I think it's time to get rid of class re uh, levels and replace them with speed limit so basically for a lot of people it's confusing this the uh, class levels of bikes and so many people are up in arms whether you pedal the bike or don't pedal the bike. Uh, bikes that go too fast. I think there's a simple solution. I think it's time to get rid of the class levels. Does it really matter if we're riding a class level one or class level two or class level three bike? It's more about as I get barked at by a dog barking at me. It's more about the, the speed, right? When it comes down to it, it's how fast are you riding? It's like a car. You don't have class levels of the car, it's a speed limit. And maybe they need to post speed limits for electric bikes if they're not the same speed that a car can go. Like on this road 25, I can go the same speed as the car 25. I'm going 18 at the moment, but. So, that's my thinking is it would make it so much easier for everybody to just know the speed limit and it's up to you it's your responsibility to ride within that speed limit and i know some people are going to say and this is true that the speedometers are off on these bikes and they are for the most part they're they read high so if they're going to read high then that'll even put you uh within the speed limit even more if you stay Say you're, you're two miles per hour off on your speed limit. So let's just say you're gonna ride 28 miles an hour and your speed limit So the speed limit is 28 and you're riding what your bikes is 28 and if the speedometer's off to you're actually going 26 so you're in good shape. And the other thing they could do is they could better calibrate these speedometers. I don't know why it's so difficult to, to get them a little more accurate than they are. They should be pretty accurate, and they're not. Sometimes they're off by quite a bit. I'm saying two miles per hour, but sometimes they're off more than that. This bike here is less than one mile per hour off. It's point a little bit less maybe 0.5 or something like that. So I use this as a pretty good reference on the Lyric Graffiti that I'm riding. So let me know in the comments what you think of that. Would you be in favor of just abolishing? Let's get rid of the confusing class levels and don't worry about class levels and just ride to the speed limit, whatever the speed limit is set. And you can still keep it uh, within 28 miles per hour if you want. If that's what they want to do. And of course on bike trails or bike paths, there's always a speed limit, right? And it's uh, generally 15 miles per hour.
and they don't say class levels they just say speed limit and you just abide by the speed limit so it would eliminate that whole thing about you know your bike's too powerful you've got too much this or that as long as you're riding the bike responsibly i think first of all the bike should have pedals on it i think an electric bike should have pedals but then if that's the case then what do we do about scooters kick scooters and one wheels and all that what do you do with those because those aren't pedal assist but yeah i like the idea let me know in the comments if you agree i like the idea of a speed limit if it's if it's going to be 28 class three let's get rid of the class three and just say 28 miles per hour and then it doesn't much matter if you're if you have a 1500 watt motor it's up to you to ride responsibly and if you don't then you deserve the ticket You know, recently I did uh, a few videos talking about the California situation and getting rid of the throttle. On uh, bikes that are class three and class, class one doesn't have a throttle anyway, but keeping class two throttle, absolutely crazy um, law in my opinion. So they're thinking, they're thinking is 20 miles per hour is fast enough with throttle. If you want to go above that, you got to pedal only. I don't like that one. But hey, we're all entitled to our opinions, I guess. I just personally think that one is not a good one. I think riding responsibly is the big thing and, and within you know, X amount of speed. It's the reckless uh, riding around and um, I'm not a fan of wheelies. I know a lot of guys like to do their wheelies and all. That's not uh, me and I think the wheelies personally should be done in off-road, private property away from everybody. And also I think the weaving in and out of traffic is dangerous. I don't like that either, but I think just riding along responsibly, minding your own business, obeying the, the rules of the road, laws of the road, I think you're fine. Whether you're using a pedal assist or uh, just throttling. Well, that's what I wanted to say on this video. I just wanted to get that out there that I, I sure wish in the future down the road that they come up with something like a speed limit instead of a class one, class two, class three. Of course, the other thing I'd like to see is a little bit faster. I'd like to see a 35 mile per hour speed limit, but I don't know if we're ever gonna get that, but Hey, it would be a start though getting 28 miles per hour and just eliminating the class levels. That would make it so much easier, I think, for everybody. But we'll see where it goes. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up, hit the notification bell and you'll get notified. And once again, you can comment on this or any other video in the comments below. So until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.